In Leroy, Illinois, there is a house built in 1862. It has been a home to many families. But when the Johnson family moved into the old mansion, they had the strange feeling that someone was still there. I would be coming downstairs in the middle of the night and I saw a silhouette sitting in the den and I would see the long straggly hair. I could tell she was an old woman. I couldn't tell any distinct features. It was just shock to see someone sitting in your, in your den in the middle of the night. While investigating the history of the house, a former owner revealed a startling story. There was a family that lived in the house. They had four boys. And the youngest boy had to sleep with a pup tent over his bed because he said that the old lady kept bothering him at night. Kathy Johnson made a trip to the local Hall of Records, where she discovered that her house had been built by Robert and Harriet Dickerson. In 1913, Harriet died at the age of 85. But could Harriet's ghost still be here? We came to find out through investigating that Harriet had 11 children. And we believe that Harriet was a motherly type person and that she was always watching out for the children. Convinced that somehow the spirit of Harriet was trapped in the house, Kathy calls paranormal investigator Rob Conover for help. We all loved Harriet, and I loved her enough that I felt like Harriet deserved to go to the light. On his initial visit, Conover sets up a video camera in an upstairs bedroom in an attempt to capture the image of Harriet on tape. Without a single person in the house, the camera inexplicably zooms in and out three times while picking up sounds resembling ghostly breathing. I believe it was a paranormal experience with the camera, and I believe that it was Harriet's ghost that did it. Conover returns to help release the trapped soul. I called Harriet to see if she would come into the room, and she did come into the room and um, manifested herself. I just felt so strongly about Harriet being able to be with her 11 children. And so I told her, I said, Harriet, go to the light and be with your children. And she did. After that incident happened and Harriet went to the light, we've never seen or heard from her since. Harriet was gone, but Kathy's illusion of normalcy was shattered one morning. I was sound asleep and I awakened to someone saying right in my ear, die, 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 you bitch. I knew instantly that Harriet had been here to protect this house from another spirit, which was not a good spirit. Kathy consulted two psychics. They both told exactly the same story. They came up with the name John Grady. And uh, through the psychics, they learned that he had been a, a boarder in the house and that he was an alcoholic, a woman beater, and had been killed while trying to strangle a woman. Conover was confident he could take on this new entity. He set up for a second cleansing. And you're gonna leave this house before I do. I went down into the basement where John seemed to be emanating from, and I challenged him to scare me or to show me something. And I called him a coward and told him the only people he could scare were women and children. But John Grady was more powerful than Conover had ever imagined. And renowned psychic Jorianne Defray was called in to help. When I walked into this house, I had the sense that this house was haunted. You could tell that there was energy here, but it wasn't clear at that time what kind of energy. Jorianne walks through the house, channeling its psychic energy. I'm feeling a heaviness. It's, it's heavier, it's denser, it's, uh, it's thicker. The air, really bad, it's really bad. People were getting beaten. Um, there was a lot of little, uh, there were little uh, 
I could see some little girls going uh, back and forth, but somebody was beating somebody up badly. I mean, they should have been laden with blood right here. Dufresne receives a mental image of the man named John Grady. I was able to visualize the presence. I was able to see the entity. And uh, it was a very, very, very ugly being. Jory Ann sweeps the home, driving Grady into the I'm open. Forward now to my presence. When I sensed him, the same animosity was there, the same negativity, the same challenge. Come on, you guys think you're so smart. You know, try to get me. As soon as my head dropped, I just kind of knew that um, I was going to be kind of used so Rob could hear this entity speak and what the entity was saying. With Jory Ann containing Grady, Rob Conover battled the entity. There was a physical confrontation in my mind between me and an entity. It's time for you to go. You're not wanted here anymore. I saw myself just kind of physically fighting with this thing and to the point where I did subdue him and push him into this abyss that I was seeing in my mind. This is a hole that has to be like that which goes on forever. Going down, 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 down. But have they really exercised the malicious spirit? Or is he just hiding, waiting for a chance to return? Sometimes the spirits can come back, and you'll have to keep re redoing the process. But it looked like, as of today, while we were doing this process, that it was a successful process. All we can do is wait and see. We'll just keep our ears open and, um, and our eyes and, and see if he's gone.